right to vote is still under attack. And that is why the Justice Department is fighting back. That is why one of the first things I did when I came into office was to double the size of the voting section of the Civil Rights Division. That is why we are challenging efforts by states and jurisdictions to implement discriminatory, burdensome, and unnecessary restrictions on access to the ballot, including those related to mail-in voting, the use of drop boxes, and voter ID requirements. That is why we are working to block the adoption of discriminatory redistricting plans that dilute the vote of black voters and other voters of color. Merrick Garland's perspective on voter ID laws emphasizing their potential impact on election integrity. Garland, seen as representing liberal views, criticizes these laws as discriminatory. He underscores the importance of election security and maintaining the legitimacy of the voting process, suggesting that voter ID requirements could help achieve this. Garland's remarks highlight voting rights as fundamental to democracy and prompt consideration of protecting these rights for immigrants. The debate extends to inclusivity in the election process with concerns about non-Americans being eligible to vote. Criticism of voter ID laws raises questions about their necessity and potential effects on political parties. A discussion around these laws could lead to polarization and public discourse on immigration and voting rights.